Hello and welcome to Music in My Life. Today we have soothing music from Sweden. It's the voice of Kersti Esavar Schmosh, a singer, songwriter, choir director and educator. I'm sure you're going to enjoy and feel soothed and healed by what she has to offer. Well, I'm here with uh, Shesti Esoval Schmorsch. Is that kind of correct pronunciation? Almost. Almost? Yeah, okay. Smorsch. What did I get wrong? Oh, it's Smorsch. Actually Smorsch. Okay, uh, now I'm going to play your melody and <clears throat> see if you recognize this melody. How great thou art. Okay, how great thou art. But before it was how great thou art, did you... O Store Gud. Yes. Do you know that was a Swedish folk song? Yeah. Oh, we wouldn't say folk song, but it's a Swedish hymn. It's yeah, a Swedish right. hymn. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, it's mm -hmm. your country. That's actually been voted as the number one hymn in this country. They've done surveys. 
about what the nation's favourite hymn is in the UK. Wow. And How Great Thou Art wins it every time. So um, it's not just ABBA we have to thank for the music. <laughs> no. But, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> but for this very beautiful melody, one of my, one of my personal favourites as well. So tell me a little bit about music growing up. What sort of experiences did you have in music growing up? Was it music at home, the parents who were musical? Yeah, my mom was a singer and a pianist and uh, we sang a lot at home. So me and my sisters were singing together. So I, when people ask me, what's your earliest music mem memory? Mm. I, I, I never can say because I've been singing all my life. You know, we sang when people came and we sang when people left. We practiced every morning before I went to school. Oh, really? Me and my mom, it wasn't really, she said, that we're supposed to practice. It okay. was like, oh, can't we take a song before you go? Oh, so wow. we sang and, uh, and uh, yeah, of course I, I joined choirs the older I got. And, uh, and now you're directing choirs. Yeah. You do, you do some directing yeah, choirs. Yeah, I do. Oh, what, what's the difference between being the other side? You can decide oh, do you more. You understand the. You, you can do what? You can decide more. Oh, you can decide more. Okay, so it's about <laughs> control then, is it? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, it's. <clears throat> well, you know yourself, you're working with choir. It's like, you, you know, you can form it. Yes. Uh, and you can, you can get the, the best out of everyone. You try to get the best out of everyone to get mm. a wonderful mix. But to be a singer in the choir, I mean, you're in the middle of the harmony. It's just fantastic. I just love it to be in the middle of everything, in the middle of music. And you sing as well. So what, what sort of things are you singing? In your, in your... I, I work together with a pianist. Yes. Uh, and we have, I mean, we put... put together a band now and then, mm. um, as often we have concerts. Um, I'm singing with, together with um, a, a guitar, guitarist, mm. and we sing mm. like Dowland, oh, and, wow. you know, yes. the older oh, wow. uh, music. Have you, have you performed with the lute before, the, 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 original, the original guitar? No, we haven't. We, okay. he, he's been playing the, the regular, yeah, the actual, I don't know what to call it. Well, what mm -hmm. Dowland do you sing? And there was a song called Come Away, Sweet Love. Yeah, for example. Mm -hmm. Beautiful music. Yes, it is. Rock so we do that. Mm. And uh, I sing with a jazz band mm. now and then. Yes. And uh, then I'm a soloist and different, you know, like Fauré and Bach and um, different uh, pieces of oh, classical my, music. My favorite composers you happen to mention. Oh, <laughs> Four I just absolutely <laughs> love. Oh. Four Requiem and Bach, oh, yeah, of course, yes. Who you know. <laughs> doesn't like music. a bit of Bach? Right. And uh, now recently I sang um, with Solis and Duke Ellington's Sacred Concerts. Oh, Sacred, oh yeah. yes. So yes. it's, you know, it's from here to there. And I'm, I'm f fortunate to be able to do, I mean, they asked me to do it. Now we're going to hear a song which you wrote called uh, "Little Things," mm -hmm. and I didn't write. Oh, you didn't write it? No, okay. it was you my pianist. Okay, so your, pian your pianist wrote mm -hmm. it, but right? somebody mm -hmm. connected to you actually wrote it. Yeah, right. uh, what, what's the song all about? It's about everything you do adds up mm. to if you do good things, it becomes great things together with other people. You don't mm. have to do everything yourself. Mm. You. You know, every the sea uh, contains yes. um, different drops. Yes, yes, you say that? yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. No, I so, um, and and of course, the other way around. Yeah. If you do small bad things, it adds up, sums up to be pretty bad. Well, fantastic. Well, let's hear the music. <laughs>
Now, I've got a few things I want to show you, <clears throat> and I just want you to comment and react. Now, are these, are these your backing singers? <laughs> do you remember this? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> That's Chris and <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> okay, so you've, and this is, you're filming near the sea somewhere. Where, where is this? Oh, that's Dover. Well, what were you doing in Dover? <laughs> I know people normally take ships in Dover. Oh, it was, so. a, it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. It oh, was so you. beautiful. Even more beautiful than Sweden. More be even, I, I, I took a big stone <laughs> with me from yeah. there. We we're really thinking about Dover every time we go <laughs> into that room. <sighs> yeah, we were uh, um, filming these uh, music videos at Dover. Mm -hmm. Now, do you recognize this at all? That's in my home. <laughs> That's Don't my worry. grand piano. I do not work for the CIA. Or oh, my spine. goodness. <laughs> what is so significant about, about that, 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 that piano? That's my mom's piano. She right. bought it. And uh, it's, yeah, I've... That's where I learned to play and where I learned to sing. Wow. By that piano. And so then there's something I, special about that. That made you, that created you as a, as a musician. Yeah. Okay. So you, you singing um, sort of jazz music, and you, you have children who sing. Mm hmm Okay. Now, so, is he singing jazz? This doesn't look like jazz. <laughs> or, or, or is this, this the, um, is this Bach? This is, yeah, <laughs> mm, we can say that. If, it might have been, if, if Bach had been alive, <laughs> it probably No, this is my son singing um, more like uh, um, Pink Floyd. Oh, yes. That type. Yes. All right. Um, he has a very good voice for that. I don't, so I don't sing rock music at no, all. No. <laughs> so as well as a singer, as well as a conductor, um, who cannot decide whether she wants to be in front of the choir or in it. Oh. And you also write as well. Now, what, what inspires you to write? Is there anything that particularly inspires you when you write? Do you think It's a of... good lyric. Right. Because I, I, sometimes I write the lyrics myself. Yes. Uh, not so often. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wrote this one. Um, you call me a bus full of drummer. Flytta in i ett hus fullt av nu. Jag sydde en skratt i mina sammar. Och rädslorna rev jag i tu. Jag fyllde min vetkorg med längtan. Jag samlade vatten och väntan Vid stranden till lyckornas flod Hela mitt liv Wow, yeah. beautiful that song. That one I wrote. I didn't even with, know it. <laughs> <laughs> that one I wrote the lyrics to. Okay. Um, but otherwise I, I, um, I find a nice poem mm. that I think says what I feel at that time. Right. And uh, mm. then I, you know, sing, try to get the rhythm in the, in the um, words and sit by the piano. So what, do you, so what do you want people to get from your music, you know, when you're singing? What do you want the listener to feel? Honesty. I want them to feel that I'm honest. Mm. Uh, and maybe they can feel something from their life mm. into those... Um, you know, the, the, the notes. Right, so what of the future? What, what do you see yourself doing in the future? I, I'm happy where I am. Mm. Um, I have a beautiful family and they uh, take a lot of my time, of yes, course. Yes. Um, they are great inspi inspiration also, mm. of course. Um, 
<clears throat> no, I think I, I want to, uh, I hope I can continue singing mm. uh, in, in different directions. But I do love to sing my own, you know, with my own band, mm. because that really expresses my own feelings. Mm. Well, we're about to hear you perform another song. Just uh, give us a little introduction about this. Yeah, this is a Swedish song. Uh, it's a poet, uh, a friend of mine actually, um, who wrote about, it's, uh, well, it's a, hope, a song with a lot of hope. A lot of hope. Okay, well, we're gonna hear this song of hope. Well, we've been talking today about music in your life and, and with an emphasis on, on, on how music can really change people's lives. Now, I'm sure you have many, many stories. Do you care to share a story? Well, yeah, I've, um, uh, yeah. Once when I went in, I was in a store, you know, just buying clothes, and there came a lady to me, and she, you know, like this, and she said, um, are you... Shashti, and I said, yeah. Do you know something that I, I was on heavily medication, mm. he heavy medication, because she was mentally had problems. And um, I bought your CD, and now I said to my doctor, I don't need it anymore. 
And it, it's not that it was me and my city. It was just that the music and mm. the words mm. helped her. Mm. And I think just that is so incredible that someone can be, you know, touched wow. in that way and healed. Yes, yes. I, mean, I think that's, <clears throat> that's uh, something quite spiritual happening there. Really. Yeah, and I, that, you, know, you know, really humble yeah, yeah. for that. And do you have any experiences in singing uh, related to healing? That, uh, yeah, I have one, while mentioning it, I have one student that... Mm was, uh, she was very handicapped, she was mm. strapped, you know, she mm. couldn't sit by herself, so she was strapped to the chair, and um, she, she did, she was sitting like that all the time mm. until we started to sing. Mm. Then she could raise up, and then she could sing. Wow. So it, it, it's just so That's amazing, amazing. Mm. What, what you, I mean, everything works in a nice way in your body when you sing, and and you get the music and the rhythm into your life and, you know, your body. So what message would you give to the whole world about singing or music? Should, should the whole world sing? Is yeah, it necessary? Yeah, everyone should sing. Use your voice. Yeah. Use your, your voice in your way. Mm. Use your yeah. voice. Okay. And what, what are some of the things that people can do to, to help them? Because I know, for example, humming. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it can be calming. And it's medical research has proven that, that it, it, it can be... Calming. I mean, it's and breathing, that... breathing through your nose, and mm. you know, with your use your muscles in your body for breathing and letting the the tone the, out. It's just just sing, just sing. I'm going to try that. <laughs> okay, you can, you're Breathe. my teacher now. <laughs> through your mouth, and you're right. I'm about ready to sleep. Yeah, you're falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's great. The power of singing, <clears throat> the power of singing to heal, the power of music to heal, and you've shown that <clears throat> in your own experiences and in, in your own singing. And it's been a great joy having you on the program. Thank you um, for having me. Thank you and me. wish you all the very best. And um, we long to hear some more songs coming from Sweden because we love them. And hey, we're going to share a Swedish song in just a moment. Yep. So I look forward to that. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Every time I see a smiling face, I wish it were up and set a pace to change the world around that hate could not be found and left no trace everything in harmony what a world it would be I wish the entire human race Each day could feel a tender, warm embrace Have shoes upon their feet And have enough to eat Live happily If every man and woman were free What a world Would find the key 
<laughs> Thanks so much for joining. Thank you. I'll leave you with a quote which says, Every illness is a musical problem. It's healing a musical solution. <laughs>